The red-crowned crane is not only a gracefully large bird, it is a historical cultural symbol for many East Asian people. Also known as the Japanese crane or Manchurian crane, the red-crowned crane represents longevity and luck for many parts of Japan, China, and Korea, and the bird's image can be found on money in these countries. Sadly, as with many species, human expansion into sensitive habitats has threatened these animals with extinction. Although the number now seems to be stable, there are only about 2,500 individuals living in the wild, and the IUCN has classified them as endangered. While urban and industrial development had been very detrimental in the past, some red-crowned crane populations are now dependent on human activity in two distinct ways. First, in Japan, there is a population of over 1,000 non-migratory cranes living in eastern Hokkaido. Their numbers used to be much lower, but since the 1920s, local farmers and residents have been feeding them rice, corn, and other grain in winter months when natural food is scarce. These cranes are now accustomed to humans and may not be able to survive without the feeding. In a second surprising turn of events, a population of migratory cranes on the East Asian mainland has benefited from a war between humans. Military actions on the Korean War ended in 1953, but on paper the war has never come to a conclusion. One result of this is the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ. The DMZ is a four kilometer wide strip of land which separates North and South Korea. Because no humans may enter, it has become a wildlife sanctuary, and the red-crowned crane takes advantage. The birds use the DMZ as both a breeding and wintering range. Traditionally a symbol of longevity to East Asian peoples, the red-crowned crane now depends on humans in Japan and Korea for their survival.